Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use a pixel art photo editor. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up any browser, but in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Now in your browser, go to the following website, which is going to be pixelart.com. And from here, you should see the main UI for pixel art. Now, in this case, there's going to be a, a tools that you could use for pixel art. Now, we have the editor, the express, the designer, remove background, and batch editor. Now, in this case, we'll be using the pixel art editor as a tutorial. Now, in this case, what we need to do here, just click on the pixel art editor. So, by the way, if you want to create your account or log in to your account, click on the sign up or log in button at the top right of your screen. So, signing up or logging in through the platform itself, which is pixel art, you'll be able to access advanced tool on their platform. But for now, let's go ahead and click on pixel art editor. And it's going to open up this UI here. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to create a new project. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on create new here. And we could choose the following format. So we have social media posts, social media story, web, med, and a lot more. So you could go ahead and choose whatever that you want to use here. Like, for example, we want to maybe create a very simple canvas here. Like, for example, we have this 3264 by 2448 pixels. So let's go ahead and choose this one, which is a 4x3 format. And we could also enter the name of the project that we'll be using. Uh, for this example, maybe I want to say this is just a picture project. And from here, if you also want to include a background, you could go ahead and enable this one and choose a background color. But for now, we'll be using it as a transparent background. So let's just disable this one and just hit on create. Now from here, as you can see immediately on your UI, the format itself is kind of similar to Photoshop. Now, if you're not familiar with Photoshop, Photoshop is a product released by Adobe wherein you'll be able to basically edit photos into your application itself and maybe enhancing them. And in this case, I would uh, definitely say to uh, definitely inform you that pixel art actually works kind of similar to Photoshop, but with a few differences on the tools itself. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and familiar familiarize ourselves on what we see here. Now, at the left panel here, these are the tools that we could basically use to edit our photos. So we have our range tool here, wherein you'll be able to use it to move items or pictures within your canvas here at the very center. Your canvas is the very center here. So since we didn't choose any type of color for our background, this is going to be transparent. So if you want to create a PNG photo, make sure that you have a transparent background here. Now, in this case, we also have the right side here. So in this case, the navigation here, like for example, if you're zoomed in, you'll be able to navigate around your canvas here, as you can see. Now, if you want to navigate around without having to basically move this around here, you could go ahead and just press on the space bar on your keyboard and you'll be able to do the same thing. And as you can see, I have switched mine to a hand tool. Now, just under the underneath navigate, you have your layers. Layers is from the name itself is the layers for your project. Now, meaning when you put one image on top of each other, it's going to be the first thing that you see and the uh, sections that is actually hidden by that photo will not be visible. So it's great to think that uh, you should consider, like for example, if you want to place one image on top of each other, you want to consider those aspects. So yeah. So another section here just under the layer section is our history. So for example, if you've added a move, like for example, you cropped it or removed some sections or added a color or all of those actions, uh, well, you'll be able to see it under history. Now, in this case, if you want to revert your changes, you could go ahead and just select on that specific change and you'll be able to re uh, revert or redo those specific actions. But in this case, let's go ahead and start adding our image. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to basically add our image. So in this case, we have the file section here, edit, image, layer, select, adjustment, filter, view, and help. 
So this exchange does a lot of things here, so it depends on what you choose. Now in this case, we want to go ahead and basically add our image. Now the good thing about pixel art is you could basically just drag in your photos here. Like for example, we have this photos here that we want to use. Now maybe we want to use a very specific image. Like maybe we want to use this image. You could go ahead and just drag it into your workspace here. As you can see, we will be able to open an image. Now here we have two options. We could either create a new project or add it to the current project. So for now, let's just click on add current. And as you can see, we were able to add this image. Now, immediately, the image itself is going to be in this format here, wherein you'll be able to basically resize the image itself. Now, depending on how you resize it, it's going to it's uh, going to basically look like this one. Now, in this case, uh, once you want to apply the change, just hit on anywhere of the empty spaces here, and your change should now be applied. Now, same thing, since the first tool here that we have is the uh, Arrange tool, we'll be able to move things around and even resize, resize the image itself. So in this case, we also have the Marquee Select option or tool here. So in this case, we'll be able to create selections. So in this case, like for example, if you want to select a specific section on your image, you could go ahead and just press and drag it into your image. And as you can see, when we right click on it, we'll be able to cut copy, paste, and clear this image here. For example, you want to cut the specific section, you could go and click on cut here, and as you can see, that specific section is now gone. Now, same thing, if you want to uh, use a more advanced tool here, so let's just undo all those changes, and from here, let's just choose the Elastio Select here. So same thing with the Marquee Select, instead of using a specific shape, you'll be able to lasso around it. So this one is kind of advanced because you have a, you have to have a very st stable hand for you to use this one. And same thing, you'll be able to cut this selection here. Now, same thing, there are going to be types here. Like, for example, polygon, bezier, bezier or the magnetic here. Now, magnetic is somewhat kind of advanced because from the name itself, it's going to be uh, going to be mag magnetized to a certain element. Like for example, if you move around here, you'll be able to, the uh, selection itself, it's going to magnetize itself. But for now, let's go and uh, select the section here. Maybe delete this one. Let's go back in here. But yeah. So there are different modes for some tools. Like for example, marquee here has the circular ellipse here. And you also have the mod to so add to selection or move from selection. But yeah, in this case, we also have the one select. So use the magnetic one to select areas with similar colors. Now in this case, when we use this one, similar with marquee and the lasso tool here, we'll be able to select certain areas. Like for example, if there is a similar col color on that uh, specific section, it's going to select that and you'll be able to quickly remove background if you wish to. Like for example, we want to right click on it, click on cut, and as you can see, we were able to remove that specific section that has the same color. In this case, let's go ahead and click on Control Z to undo some of the changes that we made. Now we also have the uh, crop tool here wherein we'll be able to crop the whole canvas if you move this around and just press on enter. But if you just want to basically uh, remove a spe uh, specific section similar to the uh, marquee select here, you could go and use the cutout mask here. So if you click on this one, you'll be able to basically use different tools like Magic, one, uh, magic Mask, Draw Mask. So they have different uses. Like for example, you have Shape Mask here. You could go ahead and just uh, drag a shape here. As you can see, you'll be able to select a specific section that you want to retain. Now here we have modes here as well. Like we talked about, we have Remove from Mask or Add to Mask. Now in this case, we want to hit on Control Z to undo our changes. And same thing, you can go ahead and use these options here if you want to. Now, there's going to be a lot of tools here that you could use, so I'll go ahead and give you an overview on all of them. Now, we also have the section here which is liquify, meaning you'll be able to move certain areas on that specific image. Like for example, as you can see, I'm able to drag some pixels around on this image here. Now here we also have the hill brush. So in this case, like if you have imperfections on your image, you'll be able to uh, remove those imperfections. As you can see, there's going to be white sections here. I will be able to just repeatedly click on it and I'll be able to remove those white sections and remove any imperf imperfections that you see. Now in this case, we also have the uh, section for clone. So draw a copy of the other areas in an image. Like for example, if you want to clone this section here, you could go ahead and just uh, paste it in here and whatnot. 
Now we also have the blur sharpen tool from the name itself you'll be able to blur or sharpen or smudge certain areas so for example if you want to blur some area here if for example you want to blur this one you could go ahead and just blur on it now as you can see it's a lot blurred right now now I also have the other options for disperse, so draw off area in your image and watch it explode and disperse into thousand pieces. So from the name itself, disperse, you'll be able to be a cat, a scatter some of the areas as you can see right now. Now we also have the option for fo uh, focus or bokeh, our dodge and burn. From uh, dodge is going to lighten some areas and burn is going to basically darken some areas. So for example, this area here, we want to lighten it. As you can see, we were able to lighten it as well as darken it if you want to. Now I also have the option for sponge color. So if you want to uh, basically uh, sponge some of the colors, like for example, you want to remove a color, you could go ahead and do that and use this tool. Now also we have the pencil, so use different types of creative pens like web crayons, ink. So again from the name itself, this, this section here uh, we're going to uh, discuss is more about the art on, on adding more elements into it. Now draw a tool here, doodle, uh, colors, you have erasers, you have color replace, and the fill here as well, and the gradient if you want to add that. Now also you have shapes and a lot more and we also have the hand tool here which we use before to basically move around our canvas. Now also I do have to give you an overview here at the top right we have our elements. Now in this case if you want to uh, basically edit a very, very specific photo in your uh, uh, canvas here what you need to do is you just basically make sure that you select it properly in this case i added a square here i want to remove this you could go ahead and right click on it and from here you have the option for unlock lock visible or hidden if you want to hide it also have the flatten image merge visible and merge down now in this case if you want to remove this one go ahead and just drag it into the delete option here or click on it and you'll be able to delete that specific element or layer and on it now in this case you can go ahead and duplicate layers if you want to and even add text shape frames image or even an empty layer here as well now in this case this is just the overview on how to use a photo or pixel or pixelr.com here so the uh, pixelr is actually a great tool or an al alternative for you to use if you don't have access for photoshop now in this case if you want to save your project you could go ahead and go to the top left here click on file and from here you could go ahead and click on save and from here you'll be able to save this as png jpeg webp or pxz now if you want to continue just click on save as and from here we'll be able to save our picture so let's go ahead and go to downloads save our picture click on save and from here it's going to say success your file is saved in the selected folder now in this case if you want to log in or continue with your account because currently we only have three daily uh, daily free seats so yeah so that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video